1,000 Americans live with what's called hydrocephalus. That's according to the Hydrocephalus Association. And it's a neurological condition that affects the brain and can happen at any age. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato tells us about one Hickson family whose son was diagnosed just a few months ago. Alyssa? may affect seven-month-old Jonathan Brown's brain, but it surely doesn't affect his spirit. And the family is holding on and doing everything they can to raise awareness and spread the word to tell many others they aren't alone. Jonathan Brown is a little seven-month-old boy <laughs> with a big attitude. But it was Jonathan's five-month checkup that changed the Browns' lives forever. He went in and he said, well, his head size is a little enlarged. We need to take a look at that. So we were totally we just had no idea that anything was wrong. Jonathan was diagnosed with hydrocephalus, a chronic neurological condition that causes a dangerous buildup of fluid around his brain. I'll never forget that. It was it was devastating. It really was because we I mean he was perfectly healthy and then they tell us that there's something wrong with his brain. So parents Julie and Denny clung to hope, relying on church and family members to get them through. Julie says for now, his hydrocephalus is under control, but in six weeks, that could change. If it gets worse, Jonathan could have a shunt, resulting in multiple brain surgeries. It's emotional every time we go to an appointment because we don't know, you know, what they're going to say or what the outcome is going to be. I'm just clinging to the cross. Um, I'm clinging to Christ. Um, our church family, Stuart Heights, has just been amazing how they, uh, again, just surround us with prayer and encouragement. So the Brown family is raising money in hopes that someday there will be a cure. They'll be walking in Coolidge Park Saturday, along with many others, hoping for the same. I guess I'm just hopeful that, you know, within his lifetime, a cure could be found. And that's where we're putting our energy now is with helping raise money and raise awareness for hydrocephalus. Because if a, if a cure could be found, you know, that will change his, his whole life. T tomorrow is going to be a celebration, I think, of, of what can be done and, what, and the hope that is out there. So far, the Brown family has raised over $1,400 for the second annual Greater Chattanooga Hydrocephalus Walk. Now, if you want to donate to the Browns family, we all have the information you need to know. Just go to our website, newschannel9.com. That walk will begin at 11 tomorrow morning in Coolidge Park. Calvin. Okay, thanks, Alyssa.